Coming up. Send out the former child actor. We have a warrant for his arrest. We go postal and we're not delivering mail. And grab your stick. We're whacking serpents in shadow waves. Plus, we take you to Tibet in Rom. Level up. It's X Play. behind the disappearance of the Delphi, Adam Sessler, and Morgan Webb. Hey, we, 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 we had nothing to do with that. Come on, you guys. No, no, really, really, I was, I, I was, I was, I was back going. in the green room. Well, we've got a great show for you tonight, which, curiously enough, focuses on PCs. A coincidence? Completely, completely. I think we're hearing from many of you PC gamers out there. There's that one special friend that we have. Joe in Texas. Yeah, you stop can writing. Stop okay. writing. Thanks. All right, yeah, thanks. yeah. Now, you all believe that the platform is superior in many ways. The graphics are better. You get better resolution of a monitor versus a TV. You do everything with your mouse and your keyboard. So, we've come to a very big decision here. Yeah. PCs are just way better than consoles. There's just nothing bad about PCs. Not at all. No. Whoa, 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 what the hell is this? Wow. Sorry, guys, the control booth computer, uh, it just crashed. We're going to have to start over from the top. Everything's gone. We lost it all. They said X-Play was going to be more stable release than extended play. Yeah. Well, but you're glad we moved over to the studio because now we can do PC site gags. But you know what? We're going to move on to something very important. It's the first game of the show. Now, this is the follow-up to what is considered one of the most controversial video games ever made. Now, that game was Hostel. Yes, he played a more or less everyday guy. He jaunts around committing horrible acts of brutality on innocent everyday folks. Now, yeah. it wasn't too pretty to look at, but the ultra violence made the game infamous. The U.S. Postal Service sued over the name. The game itself was banned in Taiwan, Brazil, Germany, and the entire continent of Australia. My God, the full continent, the, the whole continent yes, of Australia. All That's of Australia. That's a lot of a few people. Yes, yeah, so all you Aussies out there, avert your eyes. Here's Postal 2. <laughs> Welcome to paradise. Population dwindling. Random lawsuits notwithstanding, Postal 2 has nothing to do with the fine folks who bring us our mail. Once again, you play an average guy with a shovel, going about your daily errands. It is entirely possible to get through the whole game without firing a single shot, but boy, is it hard. But thank you for your unclean visit. Now get out and come again, please. This game has one purpose, to piss you off. Look out! Paradise itself is a maze of alleys and tunnels with enough loading screens to try anyone's patience. And then there's the music. Can we just turn that off now? Okay, that's a little better. Now, I'm gonna be good and just get these errands done. Gotta pick up my paycheck. I'll Games just ignore the annoying they protesters and go in. Games are bad, they make you sad. Hey there, can I get my check? Nothing personal, man, but you're fired. Okay, that's just but fine. Just Come on, everyone, follow me. You can't do that to my neighborhood! Hey, don't shoot me! I don't even work here anymore! Okay, now to the bank to cash my check. La 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 la, just calmly standing in line, not thinking about killing anyone. What now? Okay, not gonna get involved. Don't wanna tick off the Australians again. Now, off to the mall to get my hero, Gary Coleman's autograph. Hey, out of my way! Okay, that was a lapse. I'm gonna be good from now on, I swear. La, 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 another line. This is the police. Send out the former child actor. We have a warrant for his arrest. Okay, that tears it. You mess with Gary Coleman, you mess with me. Thus begins your descent into depravity. What the heck? Let's turn that music back up. Be warned, the game doesn't get any easier once you get in touch with your inner mass murderer. There's a cop on just about every street corner, and the local populace is surprisingly well-armed. But this is so much better than standing in line. And hey, when you run out of bullets, you can rely on your trusty shovel. Woohoo, look at that head fly! And if someone has really earned your ire, you can unzip your pants and your on their now the flowers will grow. But you know, as satisfying as all this may be for the first 15 minutes, after that, Postal 2 gets old quick. 
We'll give it props for self-referential humor and sheer over-the-top violence. But if you've seen one headless corpse, you've seen them all. We give Postal 2 a 3 out of 5. God, what's that awful stench? Yeah, I guess we'll have to wait and see if Australia has better things to do than to ban Postal 2. Maybe they're working on a new Yahoo Serious movie. That would be great. Anyhow, let's take a looky-see here at, you know, whether or not this game really is, is, is horrible to say. So, we're about to go buy some milk, okay? We're going on milk shopping. We're in the store. Look at that Harmless people there. Activity. You know, would you like going to this? I like shopping. I don't do it much, but I've heard it's, it's fun. Okay, here we are. Milk, dairy goods, bingo, pick up the milk. Now, we're going to get in line. Here we are in line. Thank you for your Waiting in line. Is it? Now, get out! And come again, please. Okay, they wasn't very cool. So now we're gonna go back in the store, giving this another shot, picking up the milk, and we're just gonna leave. You know, this guy doesn't need our help. We're just we're just gonna try to walk out. And he's shooting at us. Right. Okay, third time. You know what? Know. We're gonna get the milk. Why sneak out? You know why? Because this is postal too, and we're gonna kill everybody. All these innocent people screaming. Blood on the walls, just like things that sometimes have happened in real life, and we hear about it on CNN and feel bad. Okay. Maybe there is something to be said about the content in this game. I don't right. know. You think so? Right. Maybe it's a little bit much, but it's also a safe place for you to work out your issues. You don't know me well enough. Yeah, well, we have more great games for your PC. Up next, we spice things up with role playing in Shadow Bay, and we party on the Pirate Isle with Tropico 2. Coming up next, call for help, only on Tech TV. 17 years ago, Honda engineers set out on a dream to create something with unprecedented mobility and feet. One day, it may be the eyes, ears, and legs for people in need. Say hello to us. In my dream, I'm running. From who? I'm not sure. They're wearing masks. They're, they're tough customers. Customers? What do they want? Everything now. On demand. They're very demanding. And you can't get away? No. What does it mean? That you're too slow, you can't respond, and you're in denial. No, I'm not. See? Dads like you give and give and give. Well, at Radio Shack, we believe it's about time dads receive. So send dad to the movies with this progressive scan DVD player, just $48 after mail in rebate. Or put him in the picture with a Casio digital camera, only $399.99, and get an accessory kit free after $19.99 mail in rebate. Radio Shack, you've got questions, we've got answers. <laughs> Robots that think. Today in science fiction. But how soon will this be a science fact? What would it take to build a machine that people would say, yeah, that's alive? Secret Strange and True takes you into the labs of three revolutionary scientists. Join their quest for robotics holy grail. Bringing machines to life. Secret Strange and True. Monday night at 9, 8 central. Only on Tech TV. Once again, here's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Now, welcome back to our all PC edition of X Play. Now, up until now, one of the biggest advantages of PCs have been the uh, extensive online gaming options. Of course, the biggest being the massively, massively multiplayer online role-playing game. Morg. The mouthful. Morg. No matter how yeah, you say it. No matter. Um, like EverQuest, of course, of course, where you wander around a fantasy setting, killing things and collecting treasure. Now, of course, the success of that has spawned other games like Asheron's Call. Now, in that game, you're wandering around a fantasy setting, killing things, and then you're collecting treasure. Oh, uh uh-huh. Oh, you can't forget Anarchy Online. Oh my God, who can forget that? I mean, you wander around a science fiction setting and you kill things and you collect treasure and then oh my god one of the best out mm. there dark age of camelot oh, yeah. now in that uh -huh. one it's in a fantasy setting there right. you wander okay. around and you have to All kill right. things <laughs> I should ask where we're going with this. Okay, okay, you probably <laughs> want to know where we're going with this. Well, right. we're going to our next game, Shadowbane. Now, get ah. this, Shadowbane, okay. big place, fantasy setting, you wander around, All you, right, you kill let's a few roll things, it. and then you collect the <laughs> There's nothing like a nice, quiet stroll through the woods. Watch this. 
A foul group of snakes? I must smite them with my trusty weapon. Oh, a smiting we will go, a smiting we will go. Hi ho, the dairy, oh, a smiting we will go. Ooh, I gained a level. Okay, that makes me level two. Now I get to do this all over again. This is what the first couple of days playing Shadowbane is like. That's unfortunate, because unlike EverQuest and its ilk, this game has a lot more going for it. But first, let's talk about these ugly graphics. The colors are drab, and the architecture and environments lack any kind of character. If you've ever wanted to know where the ugly sticks come from, now you know. The Forest of Shadowbane. Okay, moving on. There are a couple of big differences between Shadowbane and other fantasy games. For starters, this game is unapologetically nasty. Once you leave the new player area, it's every elf for himself. Prepare for some serious shin-goring action. And random wild pigs aren't the only danger. In addition to the many monsters you'll encounter, other players will try to put some serious hurt on your virtual self. Nothing like getting shot by a pissed off eagle dude to ruin your whole day. So, what keeps Shadowbane from degenerating into a non stop bloodbath? Simple. Like minded players can band together and create their very own city, buildings, walls, and all. And better yet, not so like minded players can attempt to reduce your lovely town to a pile of smoldering rubble. But there's a reason we had to run the game's opening movie for that bit. Player-created cities just aren't that cool yet. Here's one, for example. Not quite a bustling metropolis. It's not fair to judge these elements of the game right now. But once the game has been up and running for a few more months, we'll see if the design holds water. Thankfully, the rest of Shadowbane is fun enough to hold our interest until we get there. X-Play gives Shadowbane a 3 out of 5. Okay, we, we, we were a wee bit glib in the beginning, but Shadowbane does have some problems. We'll let you know how it evolves. But, wow, this game took so long to actually get together that it was developed originally back when people thought the Mac was a viable gaming platform. The Mac was once considered a viable gaming platform? We await your letters now. Now, you know after you alienate your audience, mm -hmm. sorry, there's nothing better than following up a, the game about pirates. Now, conveniently, our next game is Tropico 2, a game where you manage your own little pirate empire. Okay, now, now Morgan, yes. you've probably seen Extended Play, so to fish <laughs> what happens that whenever we had a pirate game, I would have to make some stupid pirate sounds. Well, guess what? What? It's not happening. That's okay, I'm going to do it this time. Yo, ho, ho, a pirate's life for me. All right, in case the title wasn't a dead giveaway, Tropico 2 Pirate Cove is all about pirates. Arr, shiver me timbers, Captain Morgan here. Now, unlike the first Tropico where you play a petty dictator of a no-name banana republic, no, not that banana republic, but those pants are nice. I'm talking about this banana republic. Well, in Tropico 2, you're no longer El Presidente, but a 17th century pirate king. In my opinion, that's a lot more fun. Now, it certainly has its quirks, though, like the fact that the pirates in this game really seem to like cats. The island is practically a litter box. Gameplay is roughly the same as any other city building game. You lay down roads and buildings, you gather resources, like here there's corn and tobacco, and make sure to keep your people in line. Watch that hook! Sounds like me old mate Captain Hook is in town. Now the pirates support your island with their money, so it's important to give them what they want. And as you would expect, what they want is drinking, gambling, and um, enjoying the company of some nice young ladies. Well, interesting that the female pirates will frequent these brothels as well. They say it's for the beauty aid, but I wonder. Pardon? Now you'll find keeping these pirates happy is not easy. These buggers are picky. I need a proper drink. No more of this will. Anyone say rum? A hungry pirate is an angry pirate. Now they also complain about my food, which I find ironic considering we have their kind to thank for crappy sugar cereal and greasy fried fish. Now speaking of bad taste, 
keep all of this running smoothly, you need slave labor. Oh, but see, this is where Tropico 2 is at its best. Let me go! Or I'll let you go. You're fired. Go make yourself useful elsewhere, ye wench. I mean that only in the kindest way. Now, what would a pirate game be without booty? <laughs> nay, we covered that, midi. I'd be speaking of loot. Now, here you actually get to let your pirates be pirates. Ahoy! Send them off in their ships to stomp around the Caribbean in search of treasure, slaves, and wealthy nobles fit for ransom. Dang, matey. Everything goes a mite better with a spoon. This is all pretty good stuff, but it really doesn't feel that much different from the first Tropico. It looks nice, but there still aren't any animations for buildings and trees, so the whole island looks a little frozen. Now, if he has this pirate, it should walk the plank for having no cutscenes. But it is a solid game with snappy music to boot. We've got a rating for this kind of game. It'd be a three out of five, ye scurvy dogs. Now see, I just wish they had made some real technological improvements to this game. I just wish it wouldn't make pirate sounds during the review. Wish you'd mind your own business. I was blowing out a pilot ship. I also wish they'll stick around. Arr, we'll be back. Up next. We go questing through Tibet and find terror with a bad name. It's Rom. Cheats is brought to you by Enter the Matrix, available on your favorite video game platform. There is only one way to enter the Matrix. If we fail, Neo fails, and that cannot happen at any cost. On May 15th, the Matrix goes interactive. Battle alongside the original motion picture cast on a mission that comes down to one question. In the war to save Zion, what part will you play? Enter the Matrix. The future is now in play. Rated T for Team. From the creators of the Matrix trilogy, The Animatrix, a collection of nine animated stories that takes the world of the Matrix to its unimaginable limits. Hang on! The Animatrix. Buy it on DVD and pay-per-view. At CDW, account managers help you choose the IT products right for you. So we read a lot of product manuals. Open. They're great. My husband likes spy novels. Give me a modular access router manual any day. Then Mama Bear routes the frame directly to the switch port. I love the way this one ends. For account managers who know all about the IT products you need, you can always expect more from CDW. No matter where you are, with Sprint Wireless phones from Radio Shack, you can take and send pictures instantly. Not that I'm going Hollywood or anything. So come to Radio Shack, your wireless phone headquarters. Isn't that... Nah. Get PCS Vision Picture Phone with Picture Mail that talks from Sprint. Take and send pictures with a recorded message, just $99.99. I knew it was him. It was him. Not that I'm going Hollywood or anything. Radio Shack. Meanwhile, in Marrakesh... <laughs> Cisco Systems. This is the power of the network. Now. Now on DVD and video from the creators of the Matrix trilogy. The Animatrix. Fly, baby. Fly. Discover how deep the rabbit hole really goes. The Animatrix. Own the DVD and CD album. And now, back to Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Now, Adam, what do you suppose a game named Grom would be all about? It'd be about malevolent pudding. That's a nice guess. Isn't it? Yes, but it's really about a horde of extra evil Nazis trying to invade Tibet to get their hands on the world's most powerful weapon. Okay, that was my second guess. Right, right. This is the action-adventure hybrid Grom. Wait, wait, wait. Let me do that again. <clears throat> Our next game is the action-adventure hybrid, Grom. 
Yeah, that's more like it. You'd think that with a name like Grom, our main character would be a barbarian or some over-muscled alien or something cool. But no, our man Grom is just your average Polish refugee hiding from the Nazis in Tibet. Let's go. Demons of the past have come back. With his buddy Peter and his yak, yak, Grom is on a desperate mission to thwart the Nazis in their attempt to secure an ancient religious artifact. Sadly, Indiana Jones is not around to lend him a hand. Now, combat in the game is handled in real time. Managing multiple party members is pretty easy, but there are times when your computer-controlled buddies will just stand there. And though you can use stealth, the game still requires you to kill all the bad guys before moving on. And as soon as you kill one guard, the rest all freak out. So tell me again why I had to crawl all the way over here? I love fighting. I cannot run from battles all my life. And let me tell you, searching through every level looking for all the bandits you have to kill, it gets old after a while. Okay, I killed that guy. Where's the next guy? Okay, got him. No, still can't get out. Oh, there's another guy. You get the picture. There are a couple of inspired moments in the game, like the conversation ritual you need to have with a Tibetan monk that has you running around striking weird poses. But most of the enjoyment of the story is destroyed by the rock-bottom English translation. Ah, uh, shoot! You want to die? Damn, drop your gun! Now, much of the dialogue is unintelligible, and the voice work is laughably bad. Be quiet. Better don't speak loudly. My father may hear you. Or better yet, just shut up entirely. Though the combat is generally uninteresting, the rest of Grom could have made for a good time. Man, that dialogue is bad. Finally, I've got you, Grom. I've been waiting for that for a few years. Hands up. Up. Stinky bad. I like tough guys. Pity. I thought we could go out and have some ice cream. We give it a two out of five. Problems are my specialty. I thought it was stupidity. Um, that dialogue was really bad. Mm -hmm. I've, like, written better dialogue with a pencil in my ass. Anyhow, that was a very cool sound effect that you used there. So, I mean, can you pull that off one more time? I, I, I want to do this. It's easy. Hey, 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 sound guy. There we go! I love it! Yes, now we're cool evil people. <laughs> so, Morgan, Whoa. what are you doing after the show? Oh, you know what? I thought I might get a taco. Would you like to join me for some cocoa? Oh, that sounds lovely. With a little marshmallow. I love, I love the little marshmallows. In the mug. Mm. <laughs> Very good. We'll be back! Coming up, you think your PC is cool? Whatever. We'll show you some dream machines that will put your desktop to shame. You never know when your computer can get something you don't want from another computer. That's why AOL for Broadband offers so many ways to help keep your computer safer. Like virus protection, which scans every email attachment before it gets to your computer. It can clean them and repair them, and let you inform the sender about any problems. It's one of the many great services you get on the new AOL for Broadband. And now, when current AOL members sign up for a limited time offer on AOL for Broadband, you'll get all the things you love from AOL, plus a lot of great ways to make your computer a lot safer. Spam controls can help block unwanted junk email and pop-up controls, so annoying pop-up ads won't pop up as much. We help keep your family safer, too, with AOL Guardian, which gives you control over where your kids are going online. It all makes being on the world of new AOL for broadband as comfortable as, well, being in your own home. So sign up now for a limited time offer on AOL for broadband. Welcome to the worldwide wow. For every job, there's a tool. And every Sunday, Tech TV's Toolkit gives you more help and information to get the job done right. Tackle tough tech projects with Call for Help. This show is all about help. And the screen savers. Get technology news on the level with Tech Live. Then size up new gadgets with a full hour of fresh gear. Tech TV's Help and Information Toolkit. Get more of the tools you need from your favorite shows. Sunday morning starting at 10 a.m. 9 central. Only on Tech TV. This weekend, 
Venture into the world of tech TV for help and information. Here's all you need to know. Tips and tricks from the pros. Those are useful tools for diagnosing your machine. So that's a good tool for finding hot spots. News and entertainment. Bullet time was made popular by the movie The Matrix. It has become the money shot. And groundbreaking gear. Check out some cool new products that may finally give you a sweet tooth for Bluetooth. Tech TV's help and information shows. Saturday afternoon starting at 1 and Sunday morning starting at 10, 9 central. Only on Tech TV. Welcome back to the show that mixes fun and excitement and then scorches it in the oven, X-Play. Yeah, I like the cooking metaphor, but I don't really. Okay, so we've looked at a full slate of PC games in the show, but as we all know, most games only run as well as the machine they're loaded on. And since we can, we've brought together four of the beefiest wonder machines money can buy. And we have the beefiest wonder of a Tech TV lab rat, Robert Heron, here to take us a little tour. Now, what have you brought with us today? Only four of the best gaming systems you can buy right now. I mean, they're gorgeous, but what's inside? What's the guts? Uh, the guts, essentially, when you're talking about systems like these right now, with the Intel chipset release that just came out, they essentially have the exact same parts in all of them. Well, what do they got? Roughly about $1,500 worth of stuff, including Intel's fastest new processor with the 800 megahertz frontside bus, the fastest video card from ATI, the best sound card from Creative Labs, couple of hard drives, pretty much identical motherboards. You're really talking similar performance. Well, but these are not $1,500 machines. These, no. what's the price range on these? You're talking for a custom system built to your specs, three to $5,000 for your wish list of parts. All right, now tell me why that one's so expensive. <laughs> right here, we'll start off with Voodoo. This is Voodoo PCs, arguably the best thing they make. It's called the F550. And what makes it so special is it's essentially hand custom, built from the ground up to your specifications. Details, lots and lots of details, 10 coats of paint, custom laser cut case, beautiful origami cable folding inside. I, it literally doesn't get much better than this. I have not seen a PC that you can buy without doing it yourself that looks this good. I noticed the drives are all painted the exact same color. The finish is deep and gorgeous. I love it. This is really the Ferrari of all computers. If you have the money and you really want the best detail, there you go. So what's what's up with this one? This one's also gorgeous. Falcon Northwest, known for their exotic paste, uh, case painting. Like you can get your logo of your favorite video game or just a solid color or whatever you want. Your own face you can have painted on the side. That in addition to supplying just the best parts out there right now. And they put it together in a system that really was flawless from the minute we took it out of the box. We set it up. We loaded our favorite games. We tore it apart. And some other nice things. They yeah. include great service and support. So if we do thrash it, we could drop in one disc, again. restore it. And, and, and just it. start again. Oh, that's it. So what's this monstrosity here? If you had to say Alienware and pick one of these boxes, guess what? This is yep. it. Alienware's new case design. It sports a nice cable management rack on the back. Its distinctive look looks like an alien head, simply enough, and I think it really makes them stand apart. It, everyone was copying an Antec case design that they had used before to the point where everyone was using it because it was so popular. With this, you're looking at essentially the same parts and hardware, a very sleek front closed front door there, and like I said, it looks like an alien head, it performs like a beast. Now this one looks Terrific like the stuff. workhorse. It's not, it doesn't have the fancy paint job, but what's going on with no, this one? No, and of all the companies, you, you know, Dell is getting into the gaming PC market, and I think you're going to see some other companies going down this route too, some of the big name PC cool. builders out there. They've done a lot to make this interesting. It gives you the ports up front you want. It's the only one that has this door up front. This is very cool. And you that know, folds we have, completely to the side. We have a ton more information on the website for these. Definitely. Um, these have some serious drool factor. Thanks for bringing them in. Now get you back to the dark, dank tech TV labs from when twins you came. I'm out of here. All right, you're off. All right, the time has come. It's about the rest of the time we have for our big PC special. If you want to get the lowdown on any of the PCs we showed or the games we talked about, come to our website. I know that where that is. What it's is it? TechTV.com slash xplay. That's good, Adam. That's good. <laughs> All That's right, go play. away. Bye. Check this out. I am rocking on it. Oh.